Concerns have been raised over British Asian terrorist suspect Saeed Dalha Asan. The 33-year-old, who has a form of autism called Asperger's, was extradited to the US six months ago. The South Londoner's never been charged in Britain, but American prosecutors accuse him and Babar Ahmed of allegedly running a pro-jihadist website. He's now being held in solitary confinement for 23 hours a day. Asian Network's Divya Dalwar has been to meet the family in London. I'm just going to show you around in the remnants of Dalha that still exist in the house. This is uh, the library at the back of the house and um, we have hundreds of books. Dalla wanted to be an academic and so he collects all these English classics because he went to like Dulwich College. In a small room here in the home in South London where Syed Dalla Arsen grew up, his brother Hamza is showing me the few belongings he's got left here in Britain. Dalla still haunts the house. Um, it's very harrowing, you know. All his books are here, all his ambitions and dreams that have all been robbed away from him. Hamja's brother was extradited to the US last October after being held for six years in high security prisons in the UK without being charged in Britain. Oh, it's been six months now and we didn't even get to say goodbye. We saw a van and a plane on the news and that was the last we ever saw of him. He's now being held in what's called a supermax high security prison in Connecticut. The prison regime in the supermax is extremely brutal. Um, inmates are shackled even when they have shackled. Hours. They have to be strip searched every time they have a, even a phone call. Um, it's a complete madness and cruelty to subject any human being to this, let alone British citizens. And, and what are your kind of your biggest concerns? My concerns are, you know, the use of extreme isolation, which causes irreversible mental damage. Um, the United Nations says people should be left only 14 days in solitary confinement. Dal has already spent six months and may spend the rest of his life and may even die in solitary confinement. Tala Arsen has Asperger's, a form of autism, and his parents, Abu and Frida, say they're worried about his health in prison. The prison that is more or less for the people who are waiting for dying, death penalty, in that circumstances living. My name is Farida. So tell me, Farida, I mean, it's been six months since Tala's been in, in the US. Mm. How has it impacted on you? I cannot explain you. It is difficult to give me answer. My heart is broken. It's very caring and very kind-hearted person. That's why it gives me, you know, more pain. He don't deserve this kind of, you know, life. Their son has always denied any involvement in terrorist activity. 